How's it going, my friend? Squizzit here, and I'll be showing you how you could shiny hunt wild static encounters in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet using the soft reset method. A huge shout out to ZLogic for being the pioneer behind this method. I would highly recommend taking a look at his channel and showing him some love by subscribing. A link to his channel will be in the description. Without further ado, let's jump right into this step-by-step -step guide. First, you'll want to find your preferred static wild Pokemon encounter. In this example, I'll be using Spiritomb because the shiny is incredible, and on top of that, Spiritomb has a very limited number of static spawns in the game. Another thing of note here is that this method will work just fine for most fixed Terra Pokemon spawns, specifically Terra Pokemon that are guaranteed to respawn at the daily reset, such as the Evolutions. They are not shiny locked. After you've found your specific Pokemon that you want a shiny hunt for by soft resetting, head into your options and make sure that autosave is turned off. You don't want your game to autosave in the middle of a hunt, and this will definitely save you a headache. Next, run into the Pokemon in a forced battle and knock it out. This will force it to despawn for the rest of the day. After successfully knocking out the Pokemon, go ahead and run back far enough to where you're not in that Pokemon's loading zone. An easy way to tell if you're far enough away is to pay attention to the surrounding Pokemon and if they've disappeared or not. Once you're far enough away and now that you're out of the Pokemon's loading zone, pop a quick manual save. This is the only time you'll have to save using this method. After manually saving, go ahead and close the game. Next, go into your Switch's date and time system settings. Here you'll want to push your time forward by one or two days. I go with two days just to be on the safe side to force a reset in the game. Now load back into the game and you should receive the message there are mass outbreaks occurring. This basically tells you that you have successfully pushed your game into the next day. And now that you're done with that one time skip, you won't have to force your Switch's time forward anymore during this method. All you have to do now is run up to the Pokemon and check if it's shiny. If it isn't, close your game and reboot. At this point, every time you restart your game, the game thinks it's a brand new day, so every single Spiritomb in my case will be a different Spiritomb. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of two Spiritombs that I caught one right after the other using this soft reset method. They are both different as one is a gentle nature and one is a jolly nature. That wraps this one up ladies and gentlemen. Again, a huge shout out to ZLogic for figuring out this method. A link to his channel should be on screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed this or if it helped you out in any way, make sure to leave a like as it does help out immensely. Comment down below even if it's just for the algorithm and subscribe to stay up to date with what I have going on. I've been Squizzit, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.